Shredavia Jenkins was a nine-year-old innocent child, and clearly the loss of any child to this community is unacceptable, especially in the circumstance. But some of the things we've learned about Shredavia is she wasn't your average nine-year-old. She had a promising future. She had the highest FCAT scores in her class. She was a chess champion at the age of five. She was a unique and special little girl, and her life has been forever silenced. Um, this has affected the community. This has affected her brothers and sisters, her parents, as you've seen and heard today. And this defendant is unique for many reasons. The court knows just by the court files that he was on probation at the time of this offense, that he was a convicted felon at the time of this offense, as was noted during the trial. And the jury has found him guilty of manslaughter with the enhancement of the firearm. Judge, this is the type of case that you look at the facts and you look at a person that's brazen enough to fire an AK-47 at 3 o'clock in the afternoon in a residential neighborhood while children are playing. And you wonder, can the community ever be safe with him being out there again? What happened to Shadavia just ripped my family apart. It ripped me apart. I was there and I saw. My daughter, Catherine, she saw. My eight-year-old, when it happened, she was, well, he was four. How could you explain to a four-year-old his sister was never coming back? You can't. He's sorry for what he did. He's sorry for what he thought was a self-defense uh, when somebody was coming towards him with a gun. The jury found otherwise. And he accepts their decision, and he asks you to sentence him. He's willing to step up and take his responsibility like a man. The nature of, of the crime and the, uh, and the weapon of choice here, which you, sir, chose as an AK-47, the most, probably the most dangerous type of weapon, you as a felon on probation at a young age made the choice to continue in, in, in a pattern of activity that ultimately led to the senseless death of an innocent child. You terrorized a neighborhood, sir. Your reckless action and your negligent action showed a total disregard um, for, for anyone and it was selfish. It was a selfish, violent act. Nothing I can do to punish you really is going to uh, minimize the pain and the suffering you caused to a f the family of the, of the dead child and also to your own family because they've lost a child and your family is essentially, by the time you're gonna be serving in prison, they are losing a child. And there's sympathy to them as well. For you, sir, I have no particular sympathy. And therefore, the court, in accordance with the statute, is going to sentence you as to count one. The maximum penalty, counsel, is 30 years? 30 years. 30 years Florida State Prison. And as to count two, uh, 20 years, minimum mandatory, Florida State Prison. That sentence will be consecutive. Is there anything further? Is there anything further, counsel? No, Judge. You can't bring her back. But I'm satisfied. It was the max. Yes. I mean, the anticipation just, it overwhelmed me. I, I didn't sleep last night for the anticipation of this day. And I, I think justice was served.